Hey everybody, I am headed to the gym and I just got notification that our offer was accepted. We're now in due diligence on a deal. It's a cannabis company actually in California. You guys are absolutely going to love the terms of this deal. This is a 100% no cash out of pocket deal. And so let me tell you the, the terms of the deal. It's a three and a half million dollar purchase. The facility, it's a grow facility, so meaning they grow the plants. They don't actually sell them to the uh, retail population, but so they grow the plants. It's a 120,000 square foot facility, so pretty large uh, farm. And we're buying it for three and a half million dollars. And the terms of the deal are rather unique in that this is a distressed deal, meaning that the owner of the property, um, his partner quit. And the owner of the property, he is in real estate, doesn't know how to manage the property, and is kind of running the business into the ground. So in that way, it sucks. But in the other way, it's opportunity for us. So this is a, a great lesson here to learn about seeking opportunities where others don't know how to do something. Doesn't mean it can't be done. It just means they don't know how to do it. So this deal for $3.5 million, turns out that the tenant, the, the owner, the seller of the, of the business is little over a year behind on the rent. Get that. How the landlord let them go that long, I don't know, but they're a one and a half million dollars behind in their rent. The other thing is that they have licenses for the facility, meaning to be able to grow. So the county um, sells them licenses. So they're about $300,000 behind on the licenses to, to bring a current and also pay the new licenses, which are now due. So they're 300000 there. That's 1.8. They're also another 90,000. Let's round it off to 100,000 uh, behind on the security company. So the security company is owed uh, 100 grand. So that's 1.9 million dollars right there in debt. Now the reason that this debt becomes important is because we can subtract that debt amount from the actual offer amount. Because one of the things that I'm very good at, one of the things that you can learn if you click the link in my bio, you'll be able to see what, what I'm talking about, we'll teach you, is you can negotiate, negotiate these debts down for pennies on the dollar. So one of the other things that we liked about this business is it already has existing inventory. It means that it has literally about 6,000 pounds of marijuana sitting on site. Don't ask me why. It's stupid. Again, the, the seller doesn't know how to run the business. So he's at it sitting there. So we agreed to take over the business. We agreed to buy it for $3.5 million. We agreed that we would pay off the debts. We didn't say for how much. We just said we would pay off the debts and that we would give the seller a million dollar note. Right, So he'll get a million dollars note, but it won't be paid for four years. No interest, no payments for four years. We also said, okay, we'll give you $200,000, but we'll give it to you in 90 days from now. And then we'll give you the other or another $200,000 in 90 days after that. So six months from now, they would get that. So literally, we're going into this deal. We have no cash out of pocket. But you might be saying, okay, Mike, well, you're taking over the deal. How are you going to finance and pay off these debts? Well, the inventory is the key ingredient here. The inventory turns out as it has a street market value of no less than $2 million, but as much as $10 million. So we're taking over. We've already gotten control of the inventory. So based on our contract, we got full control of the inventory. We can sell it using the, the sellers, the seller of the business's licenses. We can sell it to other wholesalers and distributors. We can sell it to them. So we're going to come up with estimated about three and a half to four million dollars by doing a quick sale to get that out the door. It's more than enough to settle with the landlord. We've already had a conversation now with the landlord that the landlord is willing to start over with this for free. That was a key ingredient in my mind as I wanted to know what could I do with the landlord. So the landlord is going to let us have a, a clean slate with him so long as the owner's out, but we can settle the whole thing for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now listen to that number. It's a one and a half million dollar back rent that's due. He'll settle with us for two hundred and fifty, and he can still go after the the original seller if he wants to for that balance. So we're getting in this deal. We're getting the inventory. Sell it for four million. We're going to pay the landlord two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand to bring the license current, right? So that you're looking at what five hundred fifty thousand. Pay off the the uh, the security company another, right? So you're at six fifty. Let's round it off to seven hundred thousand. We still have three point three million dollars that will be sitting in the bank by the time this deal's done in order to expand the business, to grow it, to plant, do more plants, to do better lighting, and everything else. No money out of pocket was this deal. This is how we did it.
If you're interested in learning how to do these types of deals where you can get a multi-million dollar business, and by the way, because the owner had not run this th this business at capacity, he only has about 10,000 plants. He should be having somewhere around 40 or 50,000. So he's literally one quarter um, or, or so of capacity. We can literally turn around and sell this business about a year or two years from now for about $20 million. And we will have paid it all off uh, with, with the profits from the business, had no cash into the deal, and we had literally $3 million cash of working capital. So if you want to learn how to do exactly what we did here, click on the link in my bio, follow along, go get some free training, and come along and let us partner with you to do deals just like this one. Hope you enjoyed it, got a little bit out of this, learn a little bit of uh, techniques here because everything is negotiable. Oh, and by the way, that security company is gonna settle for $20,000 also, I forgot to tell you that. So that's another savings. Uh, the only thing that's not uh, negotiable are the county licenses, they're not gonna do that. Anyway, uh, hope you guys got a lot of this. Uh, I know I'm sitting in a, in a parking lot, I'm getting ready to go to the gym here. I'm down in the Caribbean. Oh yes, that's, that's another piece. I never met the seller. I did everything by phone and by email. I never met the seller, structured the entire deal, and talked with all the creditors and never met any of them. 100% virtual business. All right, you guys, take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.